Hi everyone, in this video, we'll take a look at how to download processing textbook from Macquarie University Library and how to use that textbook. So the first thing you can do is you can, you can go to units.mq.edu.au or unitguides.mq.edu.au. Again, units.mq.edu.au. In there, you search for Comp 1000 and pick any, doesn't matter. Under delivery and resources, you can see text or materials, and there's a textbook. The link I've included is a permalink, so it should be easier to access. You click on that permalink, and if you're outside the campus, you might need to uh, provide uh, one ID of authentication and click on Elsevier single purchased titles. It will ask you for authentication and then it will take you to learning processing website and download all chapters. It does take about 30 odd seconds uh, for the download to complete. So just wait for the download to be prepared. And once the file is downloaded, you can unzip to reveal all the chapters. We'll take a look at chapter number three to see how the textbook can be very, very useful in order to learn processing. So we open the folder after unzipping and chapter three is interaction. Let's take a look. Here it says, our good friends set up and draw. It explains what a block of code looks like. It also explains that you can put a block of code inside another block of code. Then shows that there are two very important functions, setup and draw. And it also explains what void means and uh, should you get overwhelmed by this and things like this. But most importantly, it has these instructions. Inside setup, if you have three statements and inside draw, if you have two statements, how are these executed? So it's really nicely illustrated that setup executes once and then it goes to draw. Draw executes and repeats over and over. So you can see in the execution, it's 1A, 1B, 1C, which is in setup and then 2A, 2B, 2A, 2B, to a to b over and over again. Uh, so the next book contains a lot of really, really good chapters. It contains uh, an example or explanation about Boolean expressions, which I feel very strongly about, relational operators, then conditions. If you go to variables, chapter number four, it contains why we need variables, different kinds of variables, um, you can see over here, whole numbers, decimal places, characters, and then I'm sure it contains operations as well. So it gives you uh, the range of these values, how to declare and assign them. Also that when you say int count, int is the type while count is the name. So it's really nicely illustrated. So you really, want to download the textbook and read it, especially if you're struggling keeping up with the content. So that's it on how to download the textbook and use it. All the best.